Hi you guys, I'm Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel, Inside the Hem. I am so excited to show you what I have been making in April. There are so many things that are so good. I have been killing it in the Sojo department. Um, everything's turned out really good. And I know that that is like a rare occurrence of time. So I was just trying to maximize it and was just sewing like a mad woman. <laughs> okay, so without further ado, well, I'm wearing one of them. This is the Royal Wedding Sew Along Dress. I also have the red one here because even though you guys have been hearing me talk about this for two months, they were officially finished in April. Therefore, they are April makes. Um, so I posted the final videos of these last week. They are available for you to see them on me, moving around, twirling around with a pretty background like I try to always do. And, um, and yeah, they're great. I really love them. Although I was thinking, I don't know what I feel about bulk sewing the same garment. Do you guys do that where you sew the same garment out of different fabrics? I see people do it for their kids maybe? I don't know. I just don't know. Toward the end, even though they were different versions and different bodices, maybe because the skirts were the exact same, I was kind of thinking like, oh, this is feeling really tedious just doing the same things multiple times over and over. But at the same time, it was cool like once that was done to have two finished dresses and not have to like worry about anything else. So I don't know, I'm a little bit on the fence about bulk making the same pattern twice. But I am really pleased with them. I love them a lot. I've already gotten a ton of compliments. What's interesting is on the internet, whether that's Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, or here on YouTube, you guys all like lemons better. But when I wore them out in person, people liked this red one better. So I don't know, maybe like this one isn't filming as well as it should. It didn't get a lot of love from you guys next to this one. Um, maybe that's what it is, is when you see them together, this is your favorite, but stand alone. This one is, I don't know. It's so interesting. I've been getting a ton of compliments when I wear this out um, and kind of not so much on this one. But on the internet, everyone loves this one and no one says anything about this one. So what is up with that? <laughs> I have no idea. Um, but I'll have plenty more opportunities to wear them. Um, if you haven't heard, McCall's and Simplicity are giving away a $1,500 Brother sewing machine. If you participate in the Royal Wedding Sew Along, you have a chance to win that. Um, I think you have until the 18th, so there's still plenty of time for you to sew it. This is New Look 6526. You could easily, easily sew this in two days. Easily. Cutting to him. From cutting to hemming, you could do this in two days. So, what do you have to lose, right? You get a beautiful dress and a chance to win a really nice expensive sewing machine. So, um, but if you do end up sewing or you are already sewing new look to 6256, let me know, tag me or use the hashtag um, NL6526 so that I can find what all you guys are making. There's so many people posting in the face group, Facebook group now, it's hard to like isolate the people, my people that are just doing my new look pattern, you know, so tag me and let me know um, that way. Okay, the next one is this guy. Where's the, oh, pattern fell, hold please. Oh, okay, so remember whenever I had that April plans video and I said I wanted to make Butterick 6416 out of this striped shirting that I got from Joanne? Well, here she is. I did it. It is very, rare for me to have a plan and then sew that plan within the same month. I don't know why. I have a weird thing about that, but not this month. This month I knocked this out in an afternoon. So I have a little bit of sewing regret and that is because I feel like I missed an opportunity with the stripe placement here. Um, so they have this yoke that turns into the sleeve and then also this like placket and then you have the bodice. And so I kind of felt like I could have done this in the vertical stripes and this in the horizontal stripes and this in the bias stripes. 
But when I was cutting it out, I literally thought to myself, do I want to do like some funny stripe placement with this? And I thought, no, just, I just wanted like a clean look to it. And also now that I'm holding it up to the camera, can you guys even tell that it's striped? I mean, it is definitely stripes, but from far away, you can't even tell, right? So I'm like overthinking this and I should just enjoy it. Um, it's a super, super cute top. I love the fit of it being so boxy. I washed it after wearing it, so it's a little wrinkly. But um, I've been wearing it with, you know, dark jeans, with white jeans, um, and just really loving how easy and comfortable it is to throw it on. So I will say these little doodads here were not super simple. Oh, wait, down here. Not super simple. So if you are not... It does say fast and easy. I would say fast and intermediate. <laughs> but one thing I have really enjoyed wearing with it is dun, 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 a white jean jacket. That's right, you guys. I freaking made this with the welt pockets and everything. Where are my little welt pockets? Right there. Oh my gosh. I am thrilled. I am like so in love with this jacket it's not normal like I should be committed um but it was so much fun to sew um and I've truly been wearing it with everything I've worn it with this dress I've worn it with the red dress I've worn it with that blue top and so many other things in my wardrobe too it really is such a versatile piece and in this kind of weather where it's chilly in the morning and chilly in the evening you can just throw it on and it's cool and casual but not because it's white I don't, it's awesome it's awesome i really really love it okay so this is seamwork audrey um and seamwork patterns you can only get by subscribing to seamwork magazine but i've got you covered because if you use the link that's in the description box you get 50 percent off your first month so you have two options a $6 option and an $8 option. I think you get one and two patterns respect, respectively there. Is that how you say that? Gosh. Um, so use that link and you can get a little bit of a discount to see if you like it. But honestly, you guys, I really feel like Seamwork has been killing it in the pattern department lately. There was a moment there for a few months last year, maybe in the middle of last year where I was like, I don't know about this but they have turned it up again, and this is a prime example. I got an email from Colette. The Colette is a company that owns Seamwork. Colette has their own line of patterns, separate from Seamwork patterns, and they said that they were having a huge sale on their printed patterns because they were reducing inventory. They were gonna be like refocusing due to the success of Seamwork, which makes me feel like we're gonna be getting even more awesome seam work patterns coming up. I mean, I don't know what, I'm trying to read into it, but I'm not really sure what I'm reading. So I just have to kind of wait and see. But the seam work, the seam work patterns as of late have been really, really great. <laughs> it rhymed. Um, and this is no exception. I just love it. My boyfriend said this is the most professional thing I've ever made. It looks like I bought it more so than anything else. He's like, everything looks like you've bought it, but this looks like there's no way someone could have made that. So it's really cool. It's got all the details you would want in a jean jacket. It's got the top stitching. It's got the little pocket. It's got the welt pockets. It's got the waistband. It's got the sleeves. It's got everything. I made very, very few changes to this. I shortened the sleeve by a quarter of an inch and I took in the arm by one inch maybe. So I took it in here and then graded down to the waist and then graded out the sleeve. Just to make it a little bit more fitted through the side seam and make the arm a little bit smaller and that was it. Um, now all I'm worried about is keeping this sucker clean but I will tell you, I had to wash it to get all of the markings off. There's just so many you have to wash. Um, and it softened up so nice. So I can't wait to kind of wash it more and more and more and see what is going to happen to this denim. But I love it. I have plans for two more jean jackets because I love it so much. Um, I've been dreaming up some ways of embellishing it. So it would be kind of really, really cute and like 
a little bit more my style than just like a plain jean jacket. Um, so I'm really excited to show you guys those whenever they get done. You know, and I was just talking about making bulk patterns. Maybe I do like it more than I realize. Um, one of the fabrics that I want is on back order at fabric.com. So as soon as I get that email that is back in stock, I will get to work on those. So TBD on that. But this one is great. Go get a same work subscription, you guys. They really are fantastic. Okay, next up, let's talk about April's refashion. Here she is. Remember, I talked about this in my plans video too. It was a huge moo moo. It's black, so you can't see, but it does have a waistband now with some elastic in it. Um, I kept the hem slit in the hem. Can't see that either. Um, and kept all of this the same. And because you guys speak in the comments and I listen, I did a tutorial video on how to do this particular design with um, any garment that you have that's long and you have like enough fabric. Um, so I'm gonna be posting that, oh gosh, uh, maybe at the end of this week, beginning of next week. Um, so I don't know the order of them off the top of my head, but it's either already up or it's coming soon. <laughs> so stay tuned for that. I do have a style where I do use a pattern as, oh, to give me some direction. And there are some people who just like chop, 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 that's not me. I'm somewhere in the middle of that. Um, so I use a pattern for guidance, but it's still kind of winging it at the same time. But anyways, I plan on wearing this with just like a cute scarf and some flat black sandals and or like a statement necklace or whatever. It's super, super cute. I'm so excited about it. Very, very easy. Very, very comfortable. And I even left the Goodwill tag in there so you guys would know. This was it. This was the one. Totally redesigned, reshaped, um, has like actual shape to it now, which is good. Okay, last but not least, we're going to talk about, what's it called? So my style. So if you remember, oh, you just saw it a little bit. If you remember, <laughs> so my styles pattern for April is a Tilly and the Buttons Marigold Jumpsuit. The Marigold jumpsuit is not for me because it has a defined waist and tapered legs and that's just a lot of attention and a lot of like uh, hip width, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't want to draw attention to my hips so I decided that I was not going to make the Marigold jumpsuit. Instead, I made Butterick 6522 Fast and Easy again. But this time I agree, it was fast and easy. It was. Um, and here's what she looks like. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is just the belt that I still need to sew some carriers on for. And to be honest, I still need to hem it. But either way, it's close enough to a make. Um, and there's gotta be some little trimming going on here. Anyways, but don't you love the pink and the gray? Oh my gosh, I wish you could see it more, but it was like impossible to get it on my dress form because it's pants. See, there's a crotch and you can't get a crotch around a dress form that doesn't have legs. It just, that doesn't work that way. Um, but I do love the pink and gray um, color blocking. I love these fabrics. This Oh, heavens, where did I get these? I don't even know. I feel like I got the gray one recently, but I can't. Oh, I got it from fabric.com. This is a, okay, 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 it's all coming back to me now. <laughs> this is a rayon poplin, you guys. So after I was like raving and raving about the rayon poplin that I got from Style Maker Fabrics, I went on fabric.com and it turns out they have like half a dozen or 10 rayon poplins some of them are prints but i got this one that is a solid and well it's kind of like cross hatch that's what happened and so i wanted to use it but i only got two yards because i misread the envelope back and because view a is color blocked the fabric requirement i was reading was for the white fabric and there's a separate fabric requirement for the black fabric and I didn't see that, I didn't add them together, blah, 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 so I didn't have enough fabric. So I was going through my stash, going through my stash, and then I decided, you know, pink and gray would be so cute. 
and it is did I lose the belt already oh no and so then there is um this waistband belt that goes with it and you guys it just looks really cute on you just have to take my word for it I will get myself in this and take video maybe this week um or at the very least post to Instagram this week um but it's like got a very modest crossover it's really really cute um but I did make some changes to the pattern so I did want to I would want to tell you guys about those so I don't know stay tuned about this one um I do love it I think she's really pretty with her gray and pink and it's a really good pattern really good job butterick 6522 6522 and that is going to do it for the makes for April what do you guys think how did I do What's your favorite? I think mine is the jean jacket, obviously. This is a very, very close second. Um, and then the Royal Wedding So Along is a very, very, very close third and fourth to that. It's just, like I said, been a really, really, really great month of sewing. Everything that I've made has turned out exactly like I wanted. And that's rare. So hopefully I can keep it up um, as we move into May. Um, so I'm going to have May's plans video for you guys very soon. But, um, but yeah, so May hopefully will be just as good as April in terms of the productivity department and the quality department. Fingers crossed. But thank you all so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below as we always do in makes videos. What have you made this month? Brag about yourself, post links, tell me where I can find it. I wanna go see your videos, so on and so forth. Let me know where I can see what you've been making. Until next time, I'll see you soon, bye.